I've been at Good Shepherd for four years and I am the director of the Early Childhood Center and also the teacher of the force. I think everyone should come to Good Shepherd School. Teaching at Good Shepherd is a great experience. Um, the staff I work with is fantastic. The students I get to work with on a daily basis is just phenomenal. Our parents are great at communicating with us. They let us know if there's an issue. We talk to them on a daily basis most of the time. And they're very supportive of everything we do here at Good Shepherd. So a normal day in preschool is they arrive, they come in, they wash their hands, they prepare for the day. Once the bell rings at 8.15, we start off by singing our pledges. And then some classes go outside to play, so we get 30 minutes every single day for them to run around. They will have a snack time. They will do Jesus time every day, except on Thursdays when they go to chapel. And then we will have center time where they are working on some type of academics, whether it's math or science or literacy. They will do a circle time where they work on calendar. January, February, March, and April. Or counting patterns. Five, six, seven, eight, 13, 14. Letters of the week, the sounds of the week. And then we will also do literacy for our fours. So they will work on like Little Red Riding Hood or the Three Bears and do something with that in order to work on pre-reading skills. Mm -hmm. Can, tag, map. Awesome job. Muffin. High five. Good job, John. So on a daily basis at Good Shepherd, our preschoolers have a daily Bible story that they learn all week and they talk about Jesus. Snowbee's teaching me about Jesus who died on the cross. I'm learning about Jesus who takes away my sins. He sacrificed to take away our sins because of that I'm happy. I know Jesus loves me. So our themes go along with the Jesus story that we were talking about for the week. And we just really try to tie Jesus into everything that we do. It's a whole curriculum, you know, faith-based program. When I grow up, I want to be a missionary. Why? Because to share God's love. With who? With everybody. Chapel um, is really unique to us because instead of doing whole school, we have divided into two groups. We have a 15-minute chapel where we have a speaker, and then Mr. Stegman does a lot of different motions with our kids. So even our preschoolers who sit there, they might not know all the songs we sing. There's something that they can participate in, whether they're doing the signs to the Apostles' Creed or to Jesus Loves Me. He always finds something that even our littlest ones can participate in. Just really lift your spirit when you hear the little voices just praising God. And when the children sing, they are really strengthening their faith in Jesus and knowing that He's always with them and just know that they can go to Him anytime. literacy goes we like to use super kids super kids is what K through 2 uses and it's the same company and it's just a step down our kids absolutely love it it's a pre-reading so a lot of left to right to you know positional words learning how to hold a book correctly follow words in a book just a lot of skills that they need to know in order to go to kindergarten um, we also work on the alphabet we work on our numbers we work on counting the ABCs and how to count, and, and bugs. And this is Noby teaching me about the weather, and the seasons, and letters, and numbers. We're learning letters and putting them together to make words. I like that Miss Noby teaches us lowercase and uppercase letters. Um, and math, I got all of them right. We work on Spanish in the fours, so counting in Spanish. We work on our colors. I can say hello in Spanish, hola, and I can and I can say twenty in Spanish, vente, red is rojo, and then green is verde, and then blue is azul. Black is Negro, white is Negro, white is Greece, now we're through. 
I can say goodbye in Spanish. Adios. We work on your whole child, spiritually, emotionally, developmentally, you know, gross motor, fine motor. We try to encompass the entire child here at Good Shepherd. Miss Milby is the best teacher ever. So we use a program called Second Step for our social emotional learning where we work on the child um, how to share, how to calm herself down. So if they get in a situation where they're really worked up, they know how to calm themselves down. Um, we really work on them voicing their opinion, you know, voicing how they feel. I learn about being nice to other people. She teaches us how to share each other and how to help people up. Eliana helped me out at soccer when I fell because she's my best friend. And friends help me tough. I have friends that play with me nicely. We're working together as a team to put together a Pete the, the Cat puzzle. All right, so the staff I work here at Good Shepherd are nothing short of amazing. They push you every day to be stronger in your faith, to learn more about curriculums, um, anything that we're learning. So I have first graders that come down to my classroom to give me hugs because they miss seeing me, you know. And so it's just a big family here. We all work together. We all praise each other for what we do. Mrs. Noby's nice and funny. She's the best teacher ever. She takes care of us. She likes all of us because even if we do bad choices, she still loves us. Mrs. Noby's really awesome. Our playground is only for preschool and kindergartners, so we're not competing with the older kids to have playground time. And our activity room is specially designed for our little ones. So there's a rock climbing wall, there's a little slide in there, there's balance beams, there's balls, a lot of different things to help with a lot of their gross motors. You know, gross motors are very important at this age, and so we try to find different activities to help strengthen those different gross motor skills. I can't thank our donors enough here at Good Shepherd. If it wasn't for them, we would not do half the things that we do here. Um, I was able to put in pavers underneath areas that the kids wanted to play in so that we, even when it's wet outside, they're still able to play with those. We've had wooden houses donated, um, outside equipment donated, classroom supplies that teachers are like, hey, I really need this, and I'm like, okay, I got money to do it. I wouldn't be able to support my teachers here for early childhood if we did not have the donor support that we do. I love preschool because we get to learn about Jesus. I think everybody should come to Good Shepherd because it's a good place, because people are good to you and teachers are good. I just love Good Shepherd School. Pre-K for rocks. It's really, really good. <laughs>